It's part laboratory, part kitchen, and these Helsinki scientists are cooking up some novel creations. It has 65% protein, uh, roughly 6% fatty acids. Their dishes may not look delicious at all, but they could be revolutionary. So the heart of the process is bioreactor and there especially the organism that we have collected from Finnish nature. It's basically creating protein out of thin air. Electricity is pumped through water. That releases hydrogen, which multiplies the microorganisms. And what we get out is the cell-containing slurry. That protein-rich paste can be added to any animal-free meal. Tastes like noodles. It is a bit more elaborate than your typical dinner prep, but scientists say we need to rethink how we eat to protect the planet. <coughs> Eating less meat and dairy could be the best single environmental action a person can take. 18.4% of global greenhouse gas emissions are from agriculture, forestry and land use. To cut that, scientists are calling for a global shift to a so-called flexitarian diet. That's where citizens from rich nations cut beef consumption by 90% and milk by 60%. But it's challenging. We need uh, we need the support of, of science. We need uh, um, we need uh, new technology, especially if it comes to energy um, uh, energy production, and uh, and we need the consumer which is on our side. There are already plenty of success stories in this space. Wow, no cow. Like plant-based dairy producer Oatly, whose milk alternative is now served at Starbucks and it's worth an estimated $12 billion. And Mosa Meats, which created the world's first cultivated hamburger back in 2013. It cost around $300,000 then, but the company is working on more wallet-friendly versions. Public funding for different kinds of research is crucial and decisive so that these new technologies are there waiting to be commercialized. And if they are, the typical pub meal may look a little different in the future. Happy to <laughs> try anything. And if the, if this is good, I have definitely go for it. It sounds a little um, scary maybe because I don't know that much about it, but it's something to, to consider for sure. What we choose to put on our plate has a significant impact on the fate of the planet. But the drastic steps required to limit the bite from climate change may be hard for some to swallow. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.